Happy birthday, take an outfit on the chart. So after going through the procedure, you have to put down the values that you have, then subtract outputs from the intake. So this is the intake and output chart that I'm using. So the patient is Amma Asabia. Let's say age 30 years. Female surgical work. So you see columns, you have this whole place is for intake and this whole place is for output. And there's a description when it's necessary just to describe the, how the output is or how the intake is. So dates and time here is for intake. So dates 3rd October 2023 at 6 a.m. This intake. Patient was giving 500 mils. Patient was giving, sorry, normal sailor. That's type of intake. Then it was 500 mils. At 8 a.m., patient took Milo beverage. 300 mils. The males is even indicated here, so there's no need to write it again. 300. At 12 noon, patient took um, fruit juice. Four hundred mils. This is recorded for 24 hour period. So everything patient has taken within that period should be recorded. At 2 p.m. Patient took water, 500 mils. At 6 p.m., patient took malt drink, 350 mils. At 9 p.m., just before bed, patient took water. Another 500 mils. So we put all together. We will come and calculate all of them. Then output during the day. The same 3rd October 2023. So at 6.30 a.m. Patient passed urine. 500 mils. At 12.50 p.m. Patient vomited 300 mils. At 3 p.m. Patient had diarrhea, so watery stools. 400 mils. So we put all of this also together. Then we add, we put this. So when we are adding this, this will give, we calculate all this. This is 900 plus 300, 1,200. They should all be in one unit when you are calculating. If it's in liters, all should be in liters. If it is in mils, all should be in mils. The, the most important thing is, we all should be in one unit. Then we calculate the input. So this is thousand, thousand three, thousand seven, two fifty seven. So that is the fluid left in the patient. Ideally, there should be some amount of fluid left in patient because patients will need part of the fluid for body processes. So if you do it and the output is more than the input, that means after calculation, you're going to get a negative answer. When you get the negative answer, there's a cause for alarm. Then it means we have to uh, rehydrate patients.